Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Andres. You are the first one. Excellent. <laughs> and I'm driving right now, teacher, but I almost have home. Okay, don't worry. Thank you for letting me know. Okay. Okay, hello. Genesis and Jocelyn, welcome. Hi, good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? Uh, so far, so good. Thanks for us. What about you? I'm good as well. Thank you so much for asking as well. There oh, we nice. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's wait for your classmates. Oh, great. I already have five students. Six, seven students. Great, okay, already seven students. I guess it's time to start with this class. But I can only see William and Andres who is driving in this moment, right? So. Uh, teacher, I am driving right now, so. You're driving too, so don't worry. Don't worry, Fernando. Thank you so much for letting me know. Okay. <laughs> How about the other one? Remember to have your cameras on, okay? So here we go. Let's start with this class. 11 students already, very good job. So class, what day is it today? Who can tell me? Tell me today's date. Today is Monday. July 11th. July 11th, imagine, yes. And for this class, this two hours class, we are going to cover this topic. Remember that we have been covering unit number one. And today we are going to finish with this topic and with unit number one, okay? And the topic that we have for today is about the most common sources of conflict caused by cultural diversity, right? We have been talking about uh, advantages, disadvantages about 
cultural diversity, diversity, you know, as you may want to pronounce this word. And yes, of course, we're going to conclude with this topic today, right? But I don't know if you still remember on Friday, we were practicing about a topic, grammar topic. And we were reviewing about parenthetical expressions. Do you remember what a parenthetical expression is? That was a topic from Friday, from last yes, week. Yes, teacher. Something like uh, you can uh, uh, add to the sentence to make clarifications or make uh, uh, more information about what are you talking about. There we go. There we go. Remember, we can add and remove as well. Not only add, but also remove a parenthetical yes. uh, expression and the sentence works just the same, right? So as David was mentioning, some information in a sentence is essential to its meaning and some information may be less important, right? Or not essential. So this is what we need to remember about parenthetical expressions. And the last exercise that we were uh, having on Friday, it was on quizzes. Quizzes, but we didn't finish. We didn't have time to finish with these exercises because I have two exercises ready. So we can have this practice and quizzes, right? So today as the first activity, we are going to have the review about this topic, parenthetical information, and then we are going to move on to the discussion, right? But before we continue, I'm going to be checking the attendance list in this moment. So please say here or present. Let me see. Monday 11th. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Great. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Diego Alejandro Caballero López. He's there. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Excellent. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Okay. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Redis Vladimir Cortez López. I'm here, teacher. Genesis de Carmen Hernández Brizuela. Present. Okay. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Jasmine Marisol Escobar Flores. Present. Okay. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Lourdes Montserrat Hernández Velázquez. Present. Madeline Yamilet Molina González. Present. Ok. Thelma Cleotilde Peña Martín. Present. Ok, great. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. Good evening. Ok. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. There we go. So remember that I'm going to be checking the attendance list twice. So in the case that you're coming a little bit late to class, second time, please be ready to say present, okay? So here we go, class. Let's finish with this topic so we can move on to the other one. Let's see. Remember, we are going to play quizzes. And quizzes, it is a multiple choice quiz. Remember that you have the question and you have two or three different options, right? So you're going to pick 
the correct ones. This is what you need to do. And you are given 30 seconds, so you can have time to read the question and correct the, and pick the correct option, right? For this quiz, we are going to have 10 questions, only 10 questions. And after that, we are going to review question by question. So in the case that probably you can have questions about the quiz or about the topic, we are going to be covering all of those questions, right? So what do we need to do? Everybody, please, we are going to go to quizzes. Google, please. You can take this quiz from your computer, cell phone, laptop, or any other device or extra device that you may have, right? So let me show you. This is the code that we are going to be requesting. Go to joinmyquiz.com and then you are going to enter the join code, please. Here we go. This is what we are going to have as the first activity. So I'm going to give you some minutes so you can join this quiz. Go please. Okay, great. Who is the first one? David Duncan Grejo is in the class already. Me, who is me? <laughs> okay, there we have Jasmine. Join my quiz.com. I have why, do not you worry. There we go. I have Lourdes already. Okay, eight students are ready. Okay, just let me know if you're ready. Who's missing? Let me see, how many students do I have? 16, no, 15 students, right? So please, everybody. Needs to join. Uh, solo los que están manejando, no, okay? Don't worry. If you're driving, don't worry about that. Yes, tell me. Can you give me just a few more minutes because I'm trying to uh, connect? Okay. Please, don't go ahead. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay. There we go. Okay, nine students already. Who's sad? Why are you sad? Don't be sad. Is it because it's Monday? 
be happy. Don't worry. You need to be happy. Okay. We're like Garfield. We don't like Mondays. <laughs> you don't like Mondays. But you love lasagna. <laughs> Okay. So I'm just waiting. Okay, Genesis is already there. So who is missing? Just let me know if you're ready to play, okay? If not, I'm going to start with this quiz right now. So probably you can join the second one, okay? So here we go. Remember what you have to do. Pick the correct option. And I'm ready to start with this one. So here we go. Three, two, and one. Let's go close. David. Wow, you did a great M and M, right? Look at this one. 10 out of 10. The, do not you worry, Don Cangrejo. And after that, we have Genesis, me, Sad, and Y. This is the top 
10, right? So let's go and review about this topic, you know? Here we go. Take a look at the first one, class. Look at this one. A parenthetical expression, it's a word or words that, here we have the one in green. Okay, but let me have you read this one because I need you to practice and help me out reading. David, go things. ahead with the first one, please. Add the text to a sentence. There we go. Are essential to a sentence? Not really. Remember, because we can add and remove this word or words, right? So great job. Genesis, number two. Uh, do I read it? Yeah, please. Okay, a parenthetical expression doesn't change a sentence's basic structure or meaning. There we go. It doesn't change a sentence, basic structure or meaning. It's not about punctuation or length, right? It's about structure or meaning. Very good job. Let me have William. Go ahead, please read the statement and then the correct option. If a parenthetical expression is cut from a sentence, the sentence will still make sense. Right, right. It will still make sense. It doesn't change its meaning. Jocelyn, go ahead, please. Continue with this one. Okay. So I think should expect that writing the parenthetical expression is expected. Is as expected, right? Because we can take this expression out of the sentence and it's going to have the same meaning, right? Great job, Thelma. Go ahead and continue, please. Okay, let me wait for her. Hello. Hi, Tara. Hello. The sentence, global temperature, I suspect, are reason. Show where the parent, parent theory begins and ends. Mm -hmm. Which shows where the parenthetic or parenthetic begins and ends? Can nos muestra where it begins and where it ends? A pair of commas. Right. Here we go. Lower this. Go ahead, please. Uh, which can separate a mid-sentence parenthetic from the rest of a sentence? It's commas from brackets or long dashes. Or long dashes. There we go. Great job. Let me see who I have here. Fernando. Hi. Hi. Uh, I have to answer or? Yes, read and answer. The one in green is the correct one. Which sentence includes a parenthetical expression? Uh, the, the green one is the traffic terrible as usual. And the red one is, it is saying always this bad, is it? So which is the correct one? Which sentence include a parenthetical expression? That is terrible. Is, is uh, the correct one is uh, the traffic terrible as usual because uh, in my, uh, uh, I, I think the traffic terrible, that makes sense. Uh, as usual, maybe it's a, an extra inf information. There we go, as usual. And as this is the ending of this sentence, remember we are not going to add an extra comma because it's like an extra comment. So we're just going to add period at the end. So this is the extra information, very good job. 
Harvin. Take a look at this one and read this. Hello, teacher. He likes it very much, or is it seems? What is the parental expression? Mm -hmm. The number one, nineteen, or so it seems. Yeah, right. So, which is the parenthetical expression, or it seems, because this is the extra information. Class, what are we using to add this extra information? How do you call this? Dashes, long dashes. Long dashes, very good. So, why is it that we only have one long dash in this sentence? Because it's, it's at, at the end of the sentence. Yeah, right, because it's at the end, it's not in the middle. There we go, great job. Who's next? Let me see, Madeline. Which includes a correctly translator parenthetical expression. Rock music or rock and roll began, began in America. Okay, the second one, right. Why is it that the first one is not correct? What is your opinion, class? Because, because they are very the similar, right? Because of? Of the punctuation signs. Exactly. What do we have, we have here at the beginning? We have, we a, have comma a comma and, and, a, and a long dash. Long dash, exactly. And we cannot have that. Remember, we need to have two commas, two long dashes, or two parentheses, as in this case. Right? That's why. Even though it is the same sentence, but the punctuation is not the correct one. Great job. Freddy. Go, please. Oh, he's not here. <laughs> You're still there. Go, please. Okay. Trump, as we all know. Ah, oh, wait, wait. Trump, as we all now know, won the election without that parent, parent, uh, parenthetic? parenthetic. The sentence is Trump won the election. Trump won the election. There we go. As we all know, as we all now know, he won the election, right? Great. Yeah. And this is the last one. Questions about this exercise. Was this easy, difficult? Are you ready to take the other one? It's a little easy, teacher, but uh, there what? are some. Uh -huh. There are some slides are some, that the, some... the letters are hard to. It's hard to read the sentence, the yes, question, yes. because of the colors. So the, the color letter color. is the, and the background is not that um, contrasting okay. with one another. So uno que es miope. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, you know, there are, mismo que yo, okay? yes, there are three me. or four sentences that the color of the letter is the same as the background. Ah, that's why. So uh -huh. you, no, 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 no. you need to guess. <laughs> mm. You need to guess the question. <laughs> but you didn't. And then guess the answer. Let, <laughs> you didn't let me know at the mm -hmm. beginning. Remember that we had the same exercise on Friday and you didn't mention about that. So in my case, remember, I just took this um, pre-made quiz. You know, so I adapted for this class, right? So I didn't know about that, but thank you so much for letting me know about this. And questions about the topic? No, right? I guess it's quite easy. This topic is quite easy, right? So we are going to have the second quiz just in the middle of the class. Look, what is the topic that we are going to have as the main one for today. Remember that we are going to be covering this topic and yes, tomorrow we are just going to have a review about the grammar points for unit number one. But this is the last topic that we are going to be discussing for unit number one. Common sources of conflict caused by cultural diversity. Here we go. This is class number five. And look at what I have here. I was 
reading about this topic, you know, and I was thinking about my workplace, okay, my company, they were the, the place where I work, right? And you know, as of right now, I know that I'm working as a teacher at night, but during the day I have another job, you know? So the company is a very big company, you know? This is a company from Peru, right? So I'm working with people from Peru, right? So um, most of the time I stay at home and I work from home. So there are times in which I need to go to my office. And as I already mentioned, right? The, we have, I have, you know, some uh, co-workers from Peru, uh, from different places. Uh, you need Salvador, to improve right? you. Yeah, right? So, you know, uh, uh, I really enjoy my job. So I was thinking about this one, sources of conflict, because I'm in charge of a group of people, you know? So I'm like a coordinator, right? Not a boss. I cannot call or llamarme a mi misma, or the boss. No, like the coordinator for uh, some projects that we're working on, right? So look, in my opinion, this is my personal opinion, and this is my presentation because you're going to be working in a similar activity for today. Right, so pay close attention about this one. Sources of conflict. Look, in my opinion, um, time is the first source of conflict whenever I need to work with my, if, with my coworkers, right? Why? Because I was wondering how does a team manage time, you know? Our culture as Salvadorians, you know, it's very different from people uh, from Peru and also from United States, right? Who, you know, we are sometimes a little bit late uh, whenever we have an activity or a project that we need to work on with may say, ah, oh, but I still have time. I'm going to be working this project, you know, tomorrow, I know I can do it, right? But on the other hand, uh, there are some people who really like to have things done on time or before the boss is asking about this, right? So how does a team manage time? This is a source of conflict. Right? Sure. Tell me, please. How can you be late if you work from home? Uh, uh, no, as I mentioned before, sometimes I need to go to my office, you know. But ah, okay. eventually. But uh, yeah, right. What place do you have to speak English or all of you speak Spanish? Uh, both, you know, English and Spanish, but most of the time, Spanish. Yeah, but yeah, with my team, yeah, of course we do, we speak English. But in the case of my boss and some other coordinators, they do not speak English, they don't speak Spanish, yeah. Uh, ¿Qué más? Number two, look at this one. What is considered a waste of time? In your opinion, class? What is considered a waste of time? ¿Qué piensan acerca de eso? A waste of time. Mm -hmm. Remember that we are talking about this one. Sources of conflict. Waste of time. For example, if you arrive five minutes late, you need to be there for a meeting at eight, but you arrive five minutes late. Is this a waste of time for you? What is your opinion? Or not really? It's just five minutes. Because some people may say that, right? Ah, come on. 
But I'm here, I'm ready for the meeting. So is this a waste of time for you? Yes, teacher. Why? Well, yeah, you're wasting <laughs> everyone else's time <laughs> ah, if you're right late. Right, because we need to be waiting for this person, right? So at the end, the meeting is not going to be from eight to nine, but it's going to be a little bit longer, right? It's going to take time. So in the case that you're a very organized person, the arrive is going to affect. So how flexible are people when it comes to their personal time? As I was mentioning before, if you are a very organized girl or boy, and you already know, you know, from eight to nine, I'm going to have this meeting. And after that, from nine to 10, I'm going to be working in these activities. But for this person who was late, right? Mm -hmm. So this is going to change the schedule, you know, or the activities that were programmed for this morning or this day, right? So how flexible are people? How do you consider yourself a flexible person or not when, when it comes to personal time? Well, we need to, we need to because we need to. our culture, <laughs> yes. Okay. It depends. Okay, let me listen to you. What is your it de opinion? It, de uh -huh. it depends on the type of meeting or what am I gonna do? I mean, if like, if I'm gonna have like a, a meeting with family members, like, eh, who cares if I have right like, <laughs> they, they always do. So, but it's a different thing if I'm like, going to meet someone from work. Yeah. So it's not the same as scenario. So how about so, at, my work, at your workplace? Uh, well, if you're going to uh -huh. meet your boss, you have to be on time. But if you just <laughs> like, if you, if like a coworker, oh, we're going to go meet for lunch. Oh yeah, it's different, right? Yeah. Well, I work at, <laughs> when we're at meeting, the boss is always late. Really? Yeah, that's a shame. So, you have to wait like an hour or half an hour. An hour. Wow, well, not, no. Wow, I can't imagine working this, with this type of boss, you know? So are you flexible or not? Or do you need to, you have to, just because it's your boss? <laughs> so have you ever tried, you know, approaching to this guy and saying, hey, you know, you're the boss or you're not allowed to do so? <laughs> he don't care. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. He doesn't care about it. Okay, very good job. Procedures. How are things done in a team? Who do people report to? Are the processes, are there processes and protocols? Who do we turn to when we need help? Of course. These are sources of conflict, okay? Because if we don't have processes or clear processes, of course, I may think that I'm doing the right, the right way, the right activities, right? But whenever somebody comes and try to work with me, you know, they may think that they are doing, uh, even though they are doing the opposite, they may think that they are doing right, right? So are there processes and protocols? And this one is very important. Who do we turn to when we need help? Okay, whenever you need help, do you go and talk to your boss? Do you go and um, talk to somebody else? Who do we turn to whenever we need help? In your case, guys. Who do we turn or who do you turn to when you need help at work? Do you have questions well, about what you are going to do? So? Well, in my case, if we need uh, some help about the procedures or protocols, I, I go to my coordinator 
Okay. If I need help about the platform or virtual classes or connection or or Wi-Fi wi -fi or or use of computer or something like that, I go to the main charge of uh, the uh, this area, the computer area. The technical support team. Mm -hmm. Yes, technical support, but the, there is only one man. <laughs> really? The, okay. Okay. <laughs> And if we need help uh, for uh, for cleaning, for uh, something like that, uh, we go to the, uh, what is the name of the, the janitor, something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. And uh, the last thing is uh, there are something in charge of the maintenance for another problems. Okay. So that's great because you already know that you need to go and talk to somebody else, right? Yes. But there are times in which people, they don't really like to ask for help. They say, okay, I need to clean the classroom. I'm going to do it by myself, you know? And I'm going to have the kids waiting, you know, in the classroom. I'm not going to be teaching because I need to clean. So remember, that's why. We need to be make sure that there are processes and protocol, right? So, so in that, in my yeah, case, tell me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah, sometimes in my in my on my work, uh, we have we work uh, a lot as a team, and mm -hmm. sometimes uh, there are some teammates that actually don't do the the assigned tasks uh, correctly, but for some reason, our boss doesn't doesn't tell them, and we end up uh, fixing what they did wrong. But they never find out. They never know that they did that wrong. So it's it's kind of annoying because uh, you, I I cannot tell them because it's not my place to tell them. But I I just have to fix it, and and it pisses me off sometimes that yeah and and that happens because it's harder for uh them to correct it and tell it and be telling them I, I mean for my boss it's hard because we don't have much time to be you know telling everyone what to do so it's easier just to tell someone else to fix it but in the end uh, they never find out they did that wrong and i think that's not correct either Yes, so you mind, right? Wow. This yeah. happens everywhere I see. Communication, I oh, know. Communi miscommunication, communication, right. How do team members communicate? Does technology help or do you know the meaning of this word? What is this? If you don't know? Yeah. It's when, Look when it you, up. When it's when you stop someone from doing something, like it it hinders you from doing something. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's an obstacle. It's As an, an obstacle. obstacle. Exactly. So it's yeah, the yeah. opposite of helping. Hinder, right? So does technology help? I know. You know, in my case. I may say that sometimes it doesn't help, you know, because whenever we are at the office, the internet connection is, I don't know, I don't really like to be there because we need to be calling people from technical support to come and help us, you know, because the internet is so slow. And whenever we are in the middle of a meeting, so it doesn't work, the internet connection, right? So in my case, it doesn't help. I do prefer to stay home, so I know how to manage with, you know, with all the stuff that I'm working on, right? But, so, yeah, yeah tell me. You know, I, I think technology uh, helps a lot, but when it's uh, properly um, right. installed or, or applied, because sometimes uh, the the problems come when when we don't have good enough computers or exactly. uh, if the internet is not good it's not good because they are they don't want to uh pay for the best in yeah right <laughs> so those things i think that are the ones that hinder uh the 
workflow, but if if everything was the best that it could be, I think technology would uh, help a lot more. All right, and you know, I was thinking about a cell phone as well, social media. This is part of technology, you know. Um, I sometimes I need to work with people who are always texting, checking social media, and you're trying to explain, you know, a procedure or something that you need to work together, you know, and they don't really like to listen to you because they say, ah, but you're not my boss. So I'm not going to care about the instructions that you're giving. And I'm going to be checking, you know, my social media because I have something going on that is, uh, it's important for me, right? So in this case, I don't think technology helps, right? How about the last one? How is information? Take a look at this verb, channeled between a manager and team members. Remember, if we have a boss, if we have a manager, of course, we need to get instruction from him or from her, you know, in the case of girls. So is information channel between a manager and team members or I go and talk to my other uh, co-worker, you know, because I don't want to talk to my manager. So is information channel between a manager and team members in your case, in your opinion, does this affect or not? Is this a source of conflict? Yes or not? Yeah. Yeah, I think it is because I, in my case, I have um, two bosses, like two direct bosses, and mm -hmm. one of them. Uh, is a, is a very nice person but whenever i ask something uh she doesn't really help me and then i have to to go seek for help with another co-worker that is not my boss but it yeah right knows a lot so i sometimes it depends on the person because she uh is not like very helpful but Okay. I have another bus that is very, very helpful. So. Okay. Okay. Great. Great job. Thank you, Genesis. Remember, this is a speaking time. Now you can give me your experiences. So the cl your classmates can listen to those experiences as well. Goals. Do all team members share the same goal? What are people's real, oh, wow, this is quite interesting. Priorities. What are people's real, real priorities? Are team objectives clear or unspoken? Okay, causes of conflict. Okay, so as I mentioned before, this is my presentation. Why am I saying this? Because for today, you're going to be working in pairs or groups. Okay, groups of three. And we're going to do a very similar example as the one that I was presenting. So I need you to go to your course book and take a look at page number 14, exercise number one. Okay, this is the picture that we have there in your student's book. So please, let's go and take a look at the um, at exercise number one. Vamos a ver qué hay Exercise number one. A student's book, unit number one. Here we go. Page number 14. Okay, take a look at the instructions that we have there. 
William, can you help us reading the instructions, please? Okay, here we go. Um, design a poster that presents different aspects of culture that are diverse in your workplace. Uh, example given, belief, religion, sexual orientation, etc. And organize a presentation to explain how the difference you present in the chart influence possibly, positively or negatively the performance and interaction of those workmates with the other employees. Okay, with the other employees. Thank you. So you're going to design a poster that presents different aspects of cultures. Remember that we have been talking about uh, these um, definitions and concepts, concepts in previous classes, right? So I was presenting this information. Look, la que les presenté es muy similar. Sources of conflict, sources of conflict. So let's do this. I know the instruction, it is asking us to do something a little bit different, right? But I need you to do something similar. Please think about the sources of conflict caused by what we have been talking about, right? Let's comparto el mío. I'm going to send this information to WhatsApp so you can take a look at uh, the information that I have in my presentation. And you're gonna be doing a similar shot. If you want, you can include four aspects, right? But if you want to include some others, of course, it is up to you, you can do it as well, okay? After this, you're going to be presenting this information. So at the end, we're going to have this conclusion, a similar conclusion and your classmates can, you know, have different examples or similar experiences as well. Is it clear what we are going to do? Yes or no? Vamos a enfocarnos en esto. Most common sources of conflict, okay? This is what we're going to be doing in today's class. Questions about this exercise? Is it clear? The, the title of the, of the columns uh, must be the same or we are, we can change the name of the column? No, you can change. Remember that this is my personal information. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. You can include um, we can, sexual we can think a different, oh, yes, okay, right, different, different aspects. aspects okay. Different aspects, okay. right? Go and check the information that we were presenting in, I guess it was on Wednesday and Thursday, right? So here we go. Vamos chicos, let's work in group. Let me see. Okay, groups of three. Creo que de tres estamos bien. Y un grupo de dos. Okay, here we go. Go, please. Teacher, the same group for me. There are one to the. Okay, let me group. let me check on that right now. David, go to yes, room number three. Lo voy a enviar ahorita. Okay, go please. 
Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, it's important. Uh, reading, reading. Excuse me. So, so as for saying please. So, yeah, yeah manners. Uh, manners are important sometimes. Yeah. Manners yeah. can be um, a bit of a challenge because not everyone has the same manners, culturally speaking. Uh, at least in my workplace, some people, you can say hi and they don't say hi back or anything like, yeah. like you don't exist. Okay, so, so, so she's it's, a present, it's, it's a presentation, so I'm going to make it yeah. like an actual presentation. Okay. okay, let's go ahead and do that. Well, like that. And so she said like, what was the example again? So, so we said manners are a thing, right? Manners. So the other one, what would you think would be like another category of, of it? Uh, I don't... Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, maybe religious beliefs could be a problem? In it? Yeah. Okay, religion. Religion. Uh, what about uh, education? Uh, the education. Education in general. Okay. Uh, should we put one category yeah. more or, or, or we leave it like that? Uh, laid out. Like that? Okay. Yes. All right. Okay, cool. So let's start with manners. So, so we said that one of the things that may be um, an issue is uh, like some, how do we say it? Like some people don't like, um, uh, or don't have good manners. So, shall we say it like that? Uh, Lack of manners, let's put it like that. Make, can make working with others unpleasant. So that's one thing. I mean, I don't like working with someone that pretends I don't exist whenever I say good morning. So that's one thing. So what do you guys think? What other examples do you guys have? Yes, la, um, it could be being polite. Being polite is a good, it's a, like a positive. So let's put it like that. Yeah. Being polite and help uh, communicate better? Yes. Better? Why? Men, para to corrector the test. Communicate. Okay, communicate. But communicate is a double M, right? Communicate better. I'm going to keep that better. Uh, should we go three for three? One more? Miscommunication. I think that is also included with the being polite can help communicate better. Um, yeah, right. Uh, 
um, respect. Mm -hmm. oh. yeah. Manners, manners, can. Uh, how should we put this? Manners can. Um, heart. They feel in the heart. Okay, but. If you want to be the emotion is the most important for the one people, okay? And you are the best. You try to give the culture will be affect the family or will be affect that the company is the dream. The employees is the dream, okay? Can you understand my friends? Yeah, it all depends on the work environment. Okay, for example, if you win the money, the culture thinks, oops, the, the bus, oh, excellent. You will have the money for your kid, for your uh, wife, okay? But the culture all the time will be just guys, uh, equidal in, in, the, in the employees. We have to be equidal in the employees and try to transmit that you work for your family, yeah? And yeah. If, if you remember, when you go at the, at, the, at, the, at the school, when you was a kid, you listened to the teacher, and teacher told you that you will be a good man, you will be a good worker, yeah, etc. It's the similar in the world, it's the similar. Okay, but if, I'm, if I am at the bus, but I'm so a uh, one friend or one woman, he, um, the woman is so beautiful, and I try to, to give my, my wife or, or girlfriend or, or lover, the, all of the work, all of the, uh, the employees will feel bad. Yeah. <laughs> Can you understand my friends? Yeah. Friends? Mm -hmm the culture will be relationship with the family. It's the most important. Yeah? No sexual, you, you, you can have a, a LGT, I don't remember how to say the, 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 the name, LGTBI, okay? Do you remember? I don't know. Do you know, Freddy, LGTBI? You're talking about the... Uh... Gay, gay. <laughs> gay, homosexual. Yeah. yeah. I don't care. Okay, but if you you if you if you read okay the CB the East Instituto Salvadoreño Seguro Social, you will find many doctors are LGTB and they are doctors for the LGTB and for me don't care, okay, because they are, they, they are personal, okay? This is a, the, the one thing, but because in the company, the most important is win more money. You want to win money with the employees and the employees will work for your family. And you try to give, how say equidad in English, equi. Teacher, how say equidad in English? Equity. Equity, yes, equity. You have to, to you have to be equity, yeah. But only thing they don't know nobody that the only body work for the for the family, you have to to transmit the culture for the family. This is the most important. Yeah? This is the most important. You can have a, a LGTBI and when one man one man with with your wife, this is the most important. But if you have a one employee with two women, it's about, it's about, okay? Only, uh, this is my opinion, because in the, the new administration, try to see what kind of people you have in the company, because the emotion is the most important. If you have a bad emotion in your house, you never will be, you never will give a good, a good successful in the in the company. Okay, friends. Mm -hmm. 
This is the, the gen. The work? Uh, yes, like for yes. example, take what, what extra hours without pay. So for you, for you, you, you don't like it. So maybe it's because. Okay, uh, yeah, yes. Different word style was the word. Yes, word style. Different word styles. Okay, different without two F. We have uh, different word styles. Okay, we have four here. Common yes. core workplace value that needs to be the same for everyone. Diverse personal value. Here is uh, for each one. And uh, cultural, social, normal value, spirituals, labor, common social, normal. Okay. Culture. Culture, what are the. Mm, Mm, values, uh, culture, 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 something like that. You uh, right here. Social norms. Um, Socially used in a specific sense. Social norms are culturally built rules, standards, guides in which distinguish correct and acceptable human behavior during a society. In relationship between language and culture is plain between language and culture. Uh, mm. Maybe personal behavior. It was okay. uh, of the, uh, the source of conflict. Then uh, for culture, And it's not for culture, for culture is um, uh, you don't feel good because they don't take you seriously. At least they didn't. And and there are many stories about <laughs> about those people because there was even there was one time that we played uh, I don't know how it's called in English like Secret Santa but for Valentine's Day, I know, like uh, Amigo Secreto. And and the gifts that they, everybody tried to, to give a nice gift and they participated, our bosses participated because it was a small company and their gifts were like a chocolate and that was it. And we had set like a minimum. And, and those, uh, it's something stupid, I guess, but those little details, it are what make you feel good in a company. And when the people behave like that, you feel unappreciated. And yeah, that created a lot of conflict and the, the environment was very toxic actually because all everybody talked about was how mean they were. And it was, I, I was kind of tired of that as well because uh, we, we didn't have anything else to talk about. <laughs> Just how how unhappy we were. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, it was bad. I hated that job. I, I I learned a lot, but I I I hated that job. <laughs> yeah. So I'm sorry for interrupting you guys, but I don't know if you are making the presentation. It can be in a Word document or PowerPoint presentation. So you can have like a similar chart, you know, with the different aspects, like the one okay. that I was presenting, right? Yes? Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, we were not doing <laughs> it. I'm going to do it right now. Okay. So, uh -huh. so do we do we have to, like like the one that, that you sent us, do we yeah. have to write down examples or just questions? Or keywords, like, keywords, keywords, you know? Words. Yeah, like to have the aspects. You know, just on the top and then like keywords so you can explain with examples like the ones you were given, you know, so your classmates oh. can get the idea. Yeah. Okay, so okay. Um, do we have to talk about the same topics or? No, do we... remember that the main topic is about sources of conflict, mm -hmm. how 
by cultural eh, diversity at my workplace. Piensen de sus ejemplos, ¿ok? What are the sources okay. of conflict? As you were mentioning, right? Those are great examples, yeah. yeah. Okay, so, but we cannot like repeat the same topics like time, procedures, communication. We have to come up with new ones. If you want, you can take those as an example. If not, you can add um, the ones that we were having last week. Sexual oh. orientation, ethnicity. I, I don't remember about the other ones. Okay. Let me see, let me check on the... Uh, demographics, disability, sexual orientations, uh, okay. stereotypes, inclusion, you know, misconception. Those are okay, right? So, or as the ones that I was presenting, communication. Just think about the, those examples. You still have time, okay. so don't do not worry. Okay, sure. So maybe we can, uh, can it, can it be like <laughs> an appreciation? Like what I was talking about that when you feel unappreciated, uh, it creates conflict. Because... Yeah, right. Sure. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, so I don't know. What do you guys think? Okay. Yes, it's okay. Yeah, and what else? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, don't, I don't know anymore. What else she says? Um, okay. <laughs> you can be typing, you know, the idea. So at the end, you're going to have like the chart. So you can present this information in an easier way. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. Um, And the motivation. Motivation. Values. Values. Ambient. No. Ambient. Fish ambient. Ambient. Fish ambient for to have a good, a good culture and good motivation. Okay. Fish is ambient. But ambient, so you will have in culture. No. Oh, sorry. In cultures, que vamos a poner. Coach, uh, okay, uh, a good environment. Okay, I'm sorry for interrupting you. Remember that you can include the ones that we have in this example, culture, values, and others, right? But if you want to include some extra information, for example, for instance, last week we were discussing about ethnicity, sexual orientation, uh, disabilities. So are these causes of conflict, what is your opinion? This is the main topic. This is what I need you to do, create a PowerPoint presentation, or you can work in a document, right? A Word document, the common sources of conflict. Ese es el tema principal, common sources of conflict. So if in your opinion, culture is a source of conflict, you can include this one, if values, because people, they do not share the same values. Is this a cause of conflict? Of course, you can have this one as an option as well. Okay? So I don't know if it's, if it's clear what we're going to do. No, not really. <laughs> not? Okay. Vamos a presentar. Mr. Google. <laughs> Vale, take a look at this one. Vean mi cuadro. Can you see my, my screen? Yes. Vale. What do I have here? What is the main topic? Most common. Most common. Aquí está, miren. Sources of conflict. ¿Qué ocasiona conflicto en su lugar de trabajo? Mis ejemplos eran time, procedures, communication and goals. En mi caso, esos son los aspectos que generan 
conflict, you know, because my co-workers, they really like to waste time. They do not have the clear procedures or processes or, or protocols, communications, because the information is not channeled between the manager and the team members. And because my co-workers, they do not have real priorities or because the objectives are not clear. Okay. Yeah? Okay. So, so, in your opinion, quiero que identifiquen ustedes at least four causes or sources of conflict. Que son causados por qué? Por la diversidad cultural at your workplace. This is what we're going to do. Piensen en conjunto for different options, como categorías. Y luego, acá, here, you're not going to include questions. You can include keywords or specific examples because you're going to present this information and your classmates are going to read the information. So and at the end, we are going to compare. Yes. So instead of time, uh, I could put uh, on the first one values. Yeah. And values, I could put religion. Exactly. Politics, belief. There we go, exactly. These are my examples. If you want, if you want to take this as your own examples as well, that's okay. So we don't have to make a question, we just have to... No, in my case, because I was presenting this ah, okay. as, uh, for the beginning of the class, para que ustedes pensaran y respondieran, yes, I have these like questions, but you can add information or keywords. Okay, palabras claves, okay, that's right. it. Is it clear what you're going to do right now? Yes, yes, yes. teacher, who is going yes. to be typing, you know? Is it Madeline, Freddy's or Erwin? Who is going to create the document? It can be a PowerPoint presentation, a Word document, I don't know, it is up to you. ¿En qué van a trabajar? Sí. <laughs> PowerPoint, maybe. Okay. PowerPoint is easier, I guess. So go But ahead. We are going to decide. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Pero que no sea este también la source of conflict aquí en el grupo. <laughs> So, okay. Yeah. So that the title is gonna be conflict at work. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yes, at work. At work. Estamos hablando en el trabajo. Okay. So yes. So. Ready to you or? Ya lo estoy haciendo. Ah, okay. <laughs> sí, lo hace súper bien todo. Todo lo hace muy bonito, Freddy. Freddy. Okay, Freddy, I don't know if you can share your screen so your classmates oh, teacher, can take so a look teacher. at what you're typing. Yeah, so teacher. No, why? <laughs> don't be sorry. Okay, I'm going to be visiting your classmates. Continue working, please. Okay. Did you finish? Yeah, we're done. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Want to see it? Sure. Right. Okay. Want to uh, be the first one? Okay. So then let's try to comfort the. Okay. So here, here are the most. Um, The three categories that we take okay, together okay. that work that relates to to all our working places. So we put manners, religion, and education. Okay, interesting. So for manners, uh, we find that um, when someone doesn't have like proper manners, can make it hard to work with them because, uh, like I was saying, like if you say good morning and how are you, and you they don't even say anything back it's like yeah. they don't they don't acknowledge like you're there, that you're there it's like you don't you don't exist so that makes it hard to actually bond and have a good working relationship with others 
Right. Also, the opposite can be a good thing. Like you're polite and say hello, good morning, how are you? Can actually make you have a better understanding and relationship with your coworkers. Okay. Uh, yeah, and manners in general can show the respect that you have for the person, whether you work with them or not. And also that um, when you don't use proper language to communicate with others, mm -hmm. you even if you don't, you're not trying to be mean or trying to be uh, insulting or anything, can make someone feel bad. So, and they may not be so open-minded as to working with you. So that's what we came up with. Um, about religion, that sometimes what your religious beliefs can be an issue with yeah. your working schedule or you're with um, kind of like, oh, this one is Catholic, the other one is Evangelical, the other mm -hmm. one is like, I don't know, can be a Menonita for all I know. So, <laughs> right. uh, so, so the beliefs can be very, very different. For example, um, like I was raised in a Catholic household Mm -hmm. but I um, don't practice it much in, in my my opinion in my my belief my personal is that opinion I have in my personal opinion <laughs> um I know there must be a supreme being somewhere yeah I don't know where and I don't know if his name is actually God I don't yeah. know he could be named Herbert for I don't know mm -hmm. but I don't think it's how religion in general says it is so maybe i'm right maybe i'm wrong i don't know but i know that that being that that that's person that existence is there somewhere okay great yeah and uh sometimes that opinion can offend someone who's deeply religious exactly so, <laughs> and so, so no um sometimes the opposite is that if you're both deeply a uh, religious person and you're of the same religion can help you to bond with some other people, which also happens. Uh, it can, in sometimes when you're facing a crisis, even if you don't have the same religion, it can help you have hope to that you're gonna pull through. So mm -hmm. that's a good thing. And that sometimes the most like obscure or not so common religions can be um, subject to misunderstandings or like, discrimination because you don't really understand them exactly and in education uh sometimes we, we found that the more educated in terms of academics the team can be is the easier to achieve something can be um and sometimes the different levels of education can make it hard to approach a topic because um it's not the same for me to approach what I just said about religion with you, that all of you work, yeah. you have life experience, then uh, for me to approach the same philosophy with a priest. Yeah. Or with uh, someone who's very much older than me. And for example, my own grandma, that she's always been a deeply full Catholic person. And the, for the sole fact that I like to be barefoot in my house, she thinks I'm a, I'm a Muslim. <laughs> yeah, right. Not. She was offended the first, the first time that she saw me wow. walking barefoot. It's like, ¿Vos te has hecho de los turcos? Así me dijo. Can be an issue. Because there's things that you can't approach with a deeply religious person, depending on what religion that may be sure exactly and and um because i mean i'm not going to approach someone who wears a hijab like how do you do your hair yeah or like or someone who wears a niqua like does only your eyes are showing yeah like, how do you do your makeup like i'm not gonna say that <laughs> and also, we also found the, the last one was the hardest for us to put on words because, like, we found the issue, like, oh, my supervisor's like, has a master's and a doctorate on something, but no actual practice on something. 
and like you've like been doing the job for quite a while and you know what works but yeah. you don't have the same academic level and they don't take you seriously because oh i'm the i'm the doctor what do you know <laughs> so there it is the degree to start hmm? wow interesting information girls you know you did a great job so i would really like um you three to participate maybe jasmine probably you're going to be presenting manners telma okay. religion in kenya education so you can uh, participate as well but great presentation okay. jasmine you have okay. been doing a great job you know yeah great. we did a good job girls we did a good exactly you did a great job team so i'm just going to give like two or five five minutes you know because some of your classmates uh, they are done? still discussing you know about this topic so um well it's at least it is a heavy loaded question it like is, what right? can be conflict <laughs> exactly yeah. so, someone is gonna say whose team you follow at football <laughs> and that can be an issue too yeah right yeah so interesting or, yeah <laughs> It's been fun. I think, yeah, I think we've, we, the three of us came up with something that we can work with and that we identify with as well. Okay. So, yeah. excellent job. Okay. 9 30, we're coming back to the main room so we can listen okay. to your classmates. Okay. Great job, girls. Okay. Hi, girls. Did you finish? Hi, teacher. Yes. You <laughs> see. So do you have an actual presentation, probably a PowerPoint presentation, a Word document or not? I'm, yes, I made a chart. <laughs> it's a chart, okay. It's not fancy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fancy, she says. No, don't worry. So how many aspects did you identify? Uh, let me check. We took three aspects and we have three oh. points. Religion, values, and social background. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So who is going to be presenting about religion? Who is going to present about values and social background? Because I was mm -hmm. expecting to have three in this group, but I don't know what happened to, let me see who was going to join this group Mahera, chicos. No, no one else joined janari i guess yes jessica uh, janari she's not mm -hmm. here uh, we are we are oh, go ahead so please. okay so probably lourdes you can present about religion there is about values and at the end i don't know you decide who is going to be presenting about social background so uh, actually, you actually, both can participate yes tell me uh Doris was going to talk about religion and the okay. first point of values <laughs> okay great uh, and then i will do the rest okay so it is time mm -hmm. to come back to the main room so we can listen to your classmates Great okay. job, girls. Great job. Okay, thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. I guess Janari is there. Okay, here we go. Let's wait for your classmates. So guys, it is time to come back so you can present the information, you know. You have been doing a great job, you know. I was checking the different groups and you have some aspects in common, you know. You're going to find out about the aspect so here we go so let me have the first group who is going to present about veamos 
Okay, don't worry, Janari. Don't you worry. Let me see. Do we select the group? Yes, the first one. I have Jasmine, Kenya, and Telma. So, girls, let me know if you're ready to present. Uh, yes, just let me share the screen. Moment, so, please, for the rest of the classmates, listen to your classmates. If you want to have like an extra comment about what you're presenting right now, sure, you can participate as well. So go ahead, Jasmine. Uh, so we came up with like three categories and the first one is manners, so modales. Uh, and we found in common that we had, we, the three of us agreed that the lack of manners can make working with others unpleasant. That uh, for example, if you, say good morning and they don't say good morning back and you can say hello or how are you and they just don't acknowledge you're there to make you feel bad and like they don't really care of the fact that you're there uh also the opposite case that being polite can help communicate better with your coworkers and have a better relationship uh with them also along with that that manners can help show the respect that you have for your coworker as a person, as a coworker, or even as a friend, and in a more in a very um, easy, without much work, kind of way, and also that when you use proper language to communicate with somebody, can help um, have better working relationships. Not the same if I say, "Hey, uh, you see, we had this issue and this happened, so maybe we can try this." It's like, oh, you did this, and this is how we're gonna do it now. It's not the same thing. Like, it, 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 even if it's, you, sometimes when you don't pay attention to that, you can be sound. You can sound mean or rude to somebody else, even without having the intention of it. Hmm? Great. Okay, next one. Uh, me or other one of the group? I think it's Selma. It's Selma, I guess, right? Or Kenya. I don't know. Selma, are you there? Mm, I guess she's not. So Kenya, you can continue with the presentation. Okay. Um, and let's wait for uh -huh, let's wait for a uh, Telma to come back, and you can present about the topic that you were going to. Okay, religion. Uh, religions beliefs can create conflict when they are very different because if you are not agree with someone else um, you can be like um, rude with that person or sometimes they, it could create a conflict and a fight. I have seen some um, cases where the people are so crazy and they even fight <laughs> with these kind of topics. And also common religions practices can lead to deeper friendships among co-workers. Um, they can go to the church together or something like that if they are agree on something and they can create a great environment to work. Also, religion can create hope in times of crisis. When it when is um, how do you say terremoto? I I forget it now. Earthquake. Yeah, an earthquake, and they can pray for God or something like that. And also, different religions can sometimes be subject to discrimination or misunderstandings because. 
one person can believe that it, he has the, the right decision. And, and yeah, if you are not agree with someone, you can create a bad environment to work. Interesting comments. I don't know, maybe your classmates uh, want to add, you know, or make a comment about this, guys. If not, let's listen to Telma. I don't know if Telma is ready. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hello, listen to me. Yes, we oh. can listen. Okay, great. Okay. In about education, we think about the more educated, the team is the easier the goals are. It's important uh, you have a good education in a workplace. And so different levels of Education can make it hard to approach a job. Yeah. And finally, academy degrees do not represent experience or practice in a particular activity. Uh, in addition to an academic degree, you must be polite. Um, um, and follow the rules in the work workplace, yeah. And so respect your your workmates. It's important. It's important. Um, a good education into your work. That's all, thank you. That's all, so great job, Goris. Thank you so much for presenting this information. Great job. So let's continue. Should I stop sharing now? Yeah, sure. Great job, girls. Let me see, who is the second group? Let me have um, Erwin, Freddy's and Madeline, are you ready, guys? Not really. Not really. Do you still no. need? No? no. Okay, no. so let me have group number three David, Fernando, and Francisco. How about you guys? Are you ready to present? Yes, we are. Okay, so go ahead, please. David, can you share your screen, please? David, can you hear me? Sorry, I was mute. Okay. I'm going to share now. Let me. Okay. Oh, no, this is not. This one, here we are, this one. Go ahead, Francisco. <laughs> Thank you for changing my, my name. <laughs> I'm Fernando. <laughs> Fernando, okay, uh, sorry, Marcus. sorry, yes. <laughs> no problem. The, the, two with F, the, the next is Francisco, okay, sorry. Go ahead, <laughs> Fernando. Okay, uh, values, uh, the, the values, uh, uh, appears when you have point of view different with another person uh, could be with different uh, about different types like religion uh, cultures and in the workplace it's very common uh, because uh, every every uh, worker uh, do the, the 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 things of different way and for maybe you you have for example the you, the workers so uh, for they have to do maybe some tasks and maybe 
once uh, now it's about a shortcut to to finish the the task and, and for for that worker is right but for another because their values is no it's not for me uh i don't want to do that because for me is that is that is not correct uh, in, in that that case you you have a maybe a, a internal conflict because what i have to do i have to report it to my my boss or superior or, i know maybe uh, they finish the, the task and no problem nobody knows so i i only I, it's my responsibility to because my balance in my responsibility to report it report him for example uh, uh, in not not uh, a course only on maybe on a worker maybe for example it's very common and when the maybe the the managers or uh, use a different ways to to get customers and maybe you are uh, to, your values uh, don't per, don't permit to do different things for maybe reach your goal. Yeah. But okay. For another person, don't don't care. They have the the necessary to to reach. No matter how how I I did, but I can. For example, maybe maybe that that are some examples about okay. it. That's it. Great information. Excellent. Who's next? Okay. Is Francisco ahora sí? Francisco is the next. Okay. Thank you, David. Good evening, guys. Teacher. Hi. Uh, good evening. I would like to share a, a little uh, Davis and Fernando. We was sharing what is the meaning of culture. Uh, we find different concepts. For example, uh, personal behavior. Uh, well, we we know that we have different personality in the world. Depends the style of the life, for example, because the um, okay, okay, the. We find the, the definition of culture. Culture is the combination of Carol Baloo. I lost Francisco. I don't know what happened to him. <laughs> He Hello. Through, you, yeah. Okay. Could, yeah. Now we can. Could you hear me? Yes. Yes. Go ahead. Sorry, but it's raining very hard in my area. Uh, the theory of religion of culture. The theory of culture. The. To values, Eminem believe um ideal people freely choose what they want to learn. Uh, we know that the each person is free to live in whatever culture or whatever um, kind of or style of life. If depend what is the the country. Because we know we know that we have the different core to think about the He loves you, Francisco. Okay, see, he's having problems.
a que mate Rey 2, aquí Torre Blanca. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess he is having problems. He's with problem, but so, he almost covered all the part of Yeah, him. right. So, who's going to finish with the presentation? Me, teacher. Okay, we are talking about the most okay. common source of conflict, uh, about values, culture, belief, and religion. Belief and religion are almost the same. Uh, in belief, uh, we have uh, traditions, and sometimes the tradition are uh, uh, looking uh, as a problem by the others, because I don't know why uh, Spanish people, for example, uh, they like to go to the uh, bullies, uh, and they, uh, in the San Fermin tradition, they like to, to run over the, the, I don't know how to say the, this, uh, bullies is the name of the, of the, of the. Lo de la corrida de toros? Yes, yes, what is the name? Uh, uh, it's a bull race. It's a race bull right race. now, yeah. The yes, bull but race. In, in this case of the festival of San Fermin, they oh, run okay, in the, in the okay. street with the, and then it, uh, it's a very dangerous situation, but it's their tradition, it's they, they like that. And uh, we need to take tolerance and respect about the belief of the other people. Uh, we need to be ourselves. If the other people like ourselves, they ask for, for something uh, to know what they want to know. And uh, we need to avoid the misconceptions and we need don't mix the personal issues, the personal problems with our world responsibilities. War is what we need to do uh, in every situation and don't uh, uh, mix with our personal conceptions. Uh, if we accept to work, but the uh, company, <laughs> we need to align our values or belief with those, that, that company. And in religion, the, there is a problem when we want to do proselytes. Yeah. I am a, a, personally, I am a Christian, I am a preacher, but I respect all of the belief of uh, all people. And if somebody wants to know about me and my, my belief, I. I like to share. If you don't know, I, I, I don't share. Exactly. Okay, then we need to value the personal conviction of the rest of the team. This is very important because if we may bullying or may, uh, 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 like we see in the next two part, discrimination, we are ignoring or excluding a worker by their religion or by their belief or by their culture. We 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 will have problems in our workplace, and we need to avoid this uh, kind of uh, playing practical jokes or plans, because they can uh, uh, be dangerous for other people and be uh, affect our world, our our self esteem, and uh, we have problems as as a working team. This is our presentation, teacher. Great, interesting. Thank you so much, guys. And I guess you have some aspects in common, right? Values about religion as well. So excellent. You did a great job, guys. Great Thank you, presentation. Teacher. Okay, let's see who do I have next. Group number five. Genesis, William, and Jocelyn. Are you ready, guys? Yeah, I guess, yes. Yeah. Sure, so go ahead. We are ready to can, Okay, can I share my screen for... Let me to share my screen. Um, Let me see. Just give me a second, please. Okay, go ahead, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> 
sorry, it's just that I'm on my cell phone and I have to. Okay, don't worry. Okay. There you go. Okay, okay so uh, we talked about four topics. Uh, can you see the screen, the picture? It's too small. You can uh, zoom. Uh, can you can you see the yes. picture? Yes. There you go. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yes. Okay. So we talked we talked about unappreciation because uh, we feel that sometimes uh, when we as a uh, team. team Teamwork. I'm sorry. <laughs> that sometimes we, as a, as a work team, uh, feel unappreciated uh, by our bosses because they have certain attitudes, or yeah, that that makes us feel unappreciated. And so we were discussing about. I had an experience, for example. For example, at a place that I worked at, that I was extremely uncomfortable all the time because our, my bosses were super controlling and I, I didn't feel appreciated, that I, I felt that I, I did my, my job very well, I think. I, I mean, I tried to, but uh, it wasn't enough and they were super controlling for no reason. So I feel that it's super important to feel appreciated at out of workplace because um, it, it can hinder or it can make our our job super uh, toxic or environment because I ended up quitting that job and because I didn't like it. So I think that is uh, that is a source of conflict wow. that we were talking about. Yeah, so I don't know if my of my teammates want to continue. Let me see, oh. guys. <laughs> William, Jocelyn. Okay, uh, just talking about behaviors. Uh, for example, um, a lot of misbehaviors happens in organizations that have toxic work environment. Uh, that's the sheer motivation for, for example, the extraction of property, the death of intellectual property, stealing, or just becoming abuse, abusive. Uh, for example, if you work in a, in an atmosphere where your manager is extremely toxic, you feel uh, inappreciated, you feel isolated, or no one listens to you, no one cares about you. Uh, your management team is totally disengaged from you. Uh, this oppressive type of atmosphere uh, motivates a person to not do their job or just do the bare minimum of their job. Or it creates a catalyst for the employee to act or out because they feel they need to take some action uh, or inappropriation action. Uh, this can lead to all kinds of, of misbehavior or maybe a punishment for the way they are being treated. Uh, it uh, doesn't justify their behavior, but it shows you the motivation that you need it. Okay, great. Who's missing? Uh, me. Go with well, okay, we were talking with Will and Genesis about how uh, these uh, some common sorts that are so common in a company. Well, in the company that I work, uh, discrimination or any other thing is not allowed. Uh, we are a friendly company, and I guess every company must be like this because we are human beings. And talking about also how do your team members come up with new idea? How do team members collaborate with each other? In the company that I work, uh, uh, we have a team member that is led by uh, someone, and this person must be and must provide the example how to get a, a team and how the team member can be friendly in a different way. Nowadays, that uh, work from home is really common. 
and sometimes you don't know your co-worker, you only listen to them, and but you don't know physically, but you need to help them. Talking about the new ones, uh, talking about my point of view also, and also by, by my experience. Just that. Okay, great job and interesting information as well. Thank you so much, guys. Thank so you. take a look at the thing. Well, we are still missing just four minutes. So what does it mean that I'm still missing? Group number two, Erwin, Freddy's, and Madeline, and group number six, Laris and lower this as well. So guys, you're going to be presenting your information tomorrow at the beginning of the class, right? So I'm just going to check the attendance list. Just give me a second. I'm gonna take notes about these group's names. Okay. So group number two and group number six. Okay, I already got the name. Okay. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Andres. Guess he's not in the class anymore. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Okay. Diego Alejandro Caballero López. Diego, Diego. Okay. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present teacher. Very good. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Okay. Fernando, can you stay today after the class? Please? Yes, I can. Okay. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chavez. Yes. Okay. Genesis del Carmen Hernández Brizuela. Present. Harmin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Jasmine Marisol Escobar Flores. Present. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Present. Okay. Lourdes Monserrat Hernández Velázquez. Present. Madeline Jamilet Molina González. Present. Telma Clotilde Peña Martínez. Present. Present. We, okay, great, Telma. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Jessica Janari Cortez Díaz. I'm here. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Here. Here. Yes. Do you mention me? I guess I did or I didn't. I don't know. I'm not sure. So, Freddy's Vladimir Cortez Lopez. I'm here. Okay, excellent. So, it is time to stop the class here. Remember, tomorrow at the beginning of the class, as the first activity, we're going to have these two groups presenting the information. Right. So, thank you so much for joining the class today. I really hope you to have a great night. See you tomorrow, guys. Thank you. Bye bye. 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 Bye b
I don't know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> because did, did you it, check it, oh, I had the same issue. Yeah, really? I had it too. Yeah, I had the same issue. Yeah. One, one point said, did you check punctuation? Probably, right? Yeah. I, I put I put <laughs> it with, with a dot at the end and without the dot, but the, the last sentence is the issue with me. It's okay. the, the one that always uh, shows up as well. One point seven, right? Exercise mm -hmm. number five. Is that the one? Yeah. Okay, uh, take a look at this one. This is yeah, the, the the dot at the end, the period, it works, <laughs> but but it's still the number four is still wrong, and I don't know why. Really? Yeah. So you can get the answer from here. Okay. I think it's because I didn't write the the, the bar capital uh, maybe. No, I guess it's because of this one. Look, that. And it isn't. Ah, oh. look at that guy. It's not included here. Okay. Muy okay. bien, chicos. Okay. Vamos a poner esto ahorita. Let me. Ah, that. That, that we had. It, that, it is that not we that, had. That. No está. Okay, ahorita lo reporto. Oh. Don't worry. That. Okay. The boss kept insisting that. I guess you're meeting mm. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. So, <laughs> yeah. So don't worry. You can ask me whenever you're having those type of issues. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I was okay. worried because I, 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 I spent quite a long I, time. I couldn't sleep, sleep, she said. Okay. Yeah. And I was like, why? why Jasmine? Another mystery solved. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. So, Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, you know, and I had another question. I'm sorry. It's just that I was checking, I was checking my the the platform today. Yeah. And I just don't remember because I don't see it here that I was, wait, 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 let me see. It said that I was um, registered uh -huh. as, a, as a listener or something like that. That really? aquí dice, ustedes inscrito en el curso como asistente. Este modo de tomar el curso no incluye la obtención de un certificado. But I thought that I was, I was going to get one. So I don't no, know why. Sure, you're going. Everybody's going to get one at the end. Yeah, uh -huh. everybody's getting. Yeah, That's because not... I got worried that it says that. It no, doesn't... don't don't worry. Yeah, you're going to get. Uh -huh. it. Uh, I guess. Como lo obtienen, Fernando, en el email. I guess, right? The uh, diploma. Sí, este... end, right? They send it. Sí, este, se lo envían a recursos humanos normalmente. Ah, recursos humanos. Pero no siempre, porque yo tengo quizás un año y tres meses y he recibido solo como tres o cuatro en un año y tres meses. Really? So, sí. yeah, in that case, because I'm not sure about the way, you know, people from English Corporativo is working, okay, con los diplomas, but yeah, creo, tengo entendido que los envían por email, or you can get them, you can go and get them. A las oficinas oh, que tienen, right. Pero okay. si no, they okay. send it, right. Okay, so thank you, that, that was it, I'm sorry. <laughs> thank, thank you, you. So, no, don't worry. Those are great okay. questions. So, bye bye, Good Henry. evening, bye. Good evening to you, see you. See you. Okay, so Fernando, how are you today? ¿Cómo estamos, Fernando? Uh, I'm good, I'm doing well. I'm a little tired, but... Right, no, también, también, a mí, este, a veces 10 de la noche ya me siento bien cansada, really tired, right now. You know, I really enjoy these classes, I do, I do enjoy yes, these I classes, do. yeah, I right? They are quite interesting, me gustan bastante. Bien, Fernando, let me ask you, advanced two, avanzado dos, so, um, comments about these level course topics that you want to reinforce, or areas that you want to improve? I don't know, let me listen to you. Uh, in my case, maybe my problem is with the, the past regular verbs. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to, I try to, to improve, but uh, I, I know I have to maybe practice more. 
Okay. And the, and the typical, typical, uh, how, do, uh, how, how do you know your school, sir? Excuse. <laughs> it's uh -huh. because I don't have time, but it's... I don't have time to <laughs> practice. I don't have nobody to practice with, right? Yes, no. and maybe when I have uh, a little time, maybe I <laughs> I spend that time in another activities related to... Oh, no, I know. It's very hard. Things, so. I know. Your sick is being divisive. It's very hard, you know. In my case, I can say... Because, you know, as I mentioned today in the class, uh, in the mornings and afternoon, of course, I got another job, so I need to take care of the activities from this job. But at the same time, I'm thinking about this class, the material, I need to, you know, to, to make yes, the you have to prepare, it. prepare the, yes. the lesson. So it's very hard, you know. Sometimes, um, tomo tiempo de mi lunch, mi lunch time, para hacer las presentations, you know. Pero no, I really enjoy this. So, así que, excuse, dice, no, no, entiendo. <laughs> it is not an excuse, I know. Yes, but... <laughs> sometimes uh, I am in the class and I am working really? uh, another, uh, yes, uh, sometimes I I mm -hmm. get another job, so maybe a little bit or yeah, right. help. <laughs> okay, so, Verbos en pasado, verbs in past. Mm, okay, I guess this is not like a big challenge, you know? Podría ser, pero no creo que sea algo imposible. I know we can do it. Okay, no, I, I, pronunciation. Yeah, pronunciation. But just only about verbs in past or whenever you need to express yourself in the past or any other tense. Algo otra, otra estructura. Mm. For example, vimos ahorita. Gerons, ¿cómo nos sentimos con ese tema? Gerons. Yes, the, with that topic, uh, I, 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 I think that I'm right, but I'm very you know, good. maybe grammatical is, is hard. Yeah, <laughs> Sometimes. I know. Uh, maybe when you use, for example, I, I, I get confused, for example, when we are talking about, uh, we have to 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 use the the model have instead of has with a participle. Oh, uh, very okay. participle after. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Maybe okay, you get confused okay. because when you are referring with a, a she, a her, or him. Exactly. You you are used to uh, has, but. The grammatical <laughs> set you have to use had because after is a, a, a participle a verb. Participle verb, exactly. Yes, right. Whenever we need to follow like a structures or formulas, but you know this is just practice. That's why I don't really like to present the grammar with a specific formula because in that way we are really worried about following the structure, following uh, what the teacher presented in, in, the, in the class. So this is just practice, okay? So a recommendation, of course, go and look for that specific topic. I know we can get a lot of information, you know? Videos that are a, an easier way to practice grammar because it is like an extra teacher, a personal teacher who is presenting this information and you can play the video as many times as you need and you can review about this topic as many times as you need, right? So this is a great way of practicing about grammar. And I have been listening about your pronunciation. It is great. Your level of English as well. It is an advanced level. So I guess we, don't, we just need to you know, reinforce those areas, you know, those are areas I, of improvement, I guess. Llamémoslas así. Uh, yes, yeah. I have to practice and I have to learn more vocabulary because I know, uh, mm -hmm. I know some some words and I try to express myself with that words because okay. uh, that is my, my pool, that is my pool yeah. of words. Uh -huh. so I use only my pool of words because for me <laughs> it's easier, easier than, for example, that the, in my, in my, my, my problem for uh, sometimes is in my head I had to translate the, ah, okay, the, okay. The, 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 the words so yes. when I, I know the word 
is easier for me because I don't have to think how to how to translate that word. Okay, but when, okay. but when, when I am <laughs> learning new words, it's difficult because I don't I don't remember sometimes I don't remember what is the how to how do you say a word. Okay, how do you say a word? For example, I was presenting two words that are not so common. I don't know if you remember about this one. The presente is hinder. Do you remember about this one? Uh, hinder, I, I don't know how, what uh -huh. what means. Entonces, cuando veamos, por ejemplo, esto, hinder, you know? Uno, ¿qué podemos hacer? Look for a synonym. Yes. No nos quedemos con eso, okay? Hinder, I don't know what it, what it means, right? So go and Google it, make a question, make a sentence, make a negative statement, an affirmative statement. Hagámoslo en diferentes, eh, no sé, eh, en este caso, diferentes formas de expresar la idea, right? Hinder. Busco synonyms, so write it down, escribamos todo, todo, oh. toda palabra es una buena forma también. Eh, why? You know? Because um, there is not like a formula, pero hay como una, algo para aprender un idioma. Whenever you want to learn a new language, we need to follow three steps. Number one, okay. you can take it like, um, like a triangle, right? La base, yes. para the base is confidence. You need <laughs> to be confident. Do not worry about pronunciation, about um, the way that my classmates are going to express about my pronunciation, my English. Do not care. You need to be confident, right? Second one, vocabulary. Try to get as many vocabulary as possible about different type of topics. That's why I really like this type of session, these classes, right? Because we're talking about different topics, you know? We are not, not like focused about uh, grammar topics, no solo gramática, exercises, and that's it, no. This is about real life, okay? So vocabulary, y la otra base, ¿cuál será? Grammar. Grammar. Yes, grammar. Entonces, <laughs> es bien fácil, you know? Grammar topics, you know. I need to practice about grammar. ¿Cómo practico entonces grammar and vocabulary? By speaking, by listening, by reading. Usando todas las skills. Así que... Eh, sí, sí. En my case, yo trato de, de todo en mi computadora personal, computadora en mi trabajo, teléfono, tener en inglés. Todo en inglés, A mí ¿no? siempre escucho todo traducido y por lo menos a veces me alegro porque Ajá. a mí me gusta ver series. Y la serie es... Yo estoy escuchando y yo sé que lo que está diciendo no es lo que está en... en ya logro entender no, que lo que ponen las traducciones no es lo que dice. Yo digo, están tratando de interpretar algo, pero en realidad pero yo no sé es que mismo. está diciendo eso. Yes. Ajá. Sí, eso es ya bien estoy, ya, ya, ya Aunque sea, ya logro distinguir diferentes cosas que antes nada que ver. Pues. Que, exacto. Entonces eso es un avance, es un progreso enorme. Obviamente, adquirir un nuevo idioma toma tiempo. Mucho tiempo, tanto vocabulario, las estructuras creo que es lo más fácil, porque hay una cierta cantidad de estructuras en inglés que son las mismas que tenemos en español, solo que las pasamos a inglés. La gramática creo que es un poco más fácil, pero con vocabulary ahí es de nunca sí, parar, aprender, aprender. Y yes, eso me encanta, todo en inglés, todo, todo en inglés, los dispositivos eh, y forzarse a... Eh, pensar en inglés también, eso es otra forma así que... Eso es lo más difícil quizás más porque difícil. yo trato de traducir todo y ahí es donde me tardo y es donde me cuesta más Ok, pero y... no, es malo, no es malo traducir solo que sí quizás es malo acostumbrarse a pensar en español no, tratemos de pensar y cómo hablemos, yo eso hago a veces, yo me hablo, yo misma me platico en inglés Estoy describiendo todo lo que veo, porque igual okay. yo casi no tengo a nadie con quien practicar my English, you ¿no? Know? Aunque mm -hmm. mis compañeros de trabajo no les gusta hablar inglés, they don't really like it, you ¿no? Know? They don't, ellos hablan español, Spanish, Spanish, aunque yo quisiera que... para practicar, porque yeah, al final, right. o sea, mm -hmm. en mi área, eh, yo la verdad si pudiera inglés, yo sé que hablo muchas puertas, 
con yeah. respecto a participar en entrevistas con empresas de Estados Unidos. Uh -huh. Y tengo compañeros que ya trabajan para empresas de Estados Unidos. Y ya es, otro, es otra vida, es otro tiempo, es otro, son muchas cosas diferentes y mejores. Cambia, el inglés en serio abre puertas. Así que no, o sea, me alegra muchísimo. Poco llegan avanzados dos, poco, bien pocos. Así que go, Fernando. I know you can do it. No nos desanimemos, sigamos aprendiendo. Y cuando estemos en los rooms, los breakout rooms, aprovechemos. Hay que hacer hablar a los compañeros porque hay algunos compañeros que les da pena hablar todavía. O sea, más que todo, no es por nada, pero tengo un par de señoras que no les gusta hablar y yo lo keep on talking, hasta me apagan la cámara. Yo no, tratemos de forzarnos a hablar, hablar inglés y hablar inglés, que estas dos horas es la idea, que ustedes hablen lo más que puedan y que yo hable lo mínimo, un 20%, aunque a veces no se puede tanto, pero sí. So, great job, Fernando, gracias por quedarse un ratito y cualquier cosa, ya estamos. Pueden eh, escribir en el grupo, también aportar. Y también okay. en la clase. Okay? So, thank you so okay. much. So, see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Have a great bye. Good, good night.